How's everyone doing? This is going to be another What Movie Should I Watch vlog where I want you to pick out two movies for me to watch tonight and I'm drinking some Walking Dead Blood Orange IPA right there from Terrapin. So cheers to you. <laughs> Expect a review of this coming soon. I enjoy it. It's not as hop uh, forward as I was expecting, but that's kind of the thing with every uh, Blood Orange IPA that I've had, but uh, it's definitely very drinkable and I'm enjoying it thus far. Uh, you know, I had The Walking Dead on there. I'm a big fan. I can't wait for that to come back on. And uh, I was actually expecting some of the characters on there because it's actually a team up of them, but uh, it's just the, you know, the turtle right there, all zombified and some zombie hordes in the background, but still very delicious. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you uh, some of the collection. Uh, I've still got to go through a few boxes of uh, mostly DVDs and a few box set Blu-rays, some steel books and things like that. But here's stacks of DVDs. There's a whole Blu-ray shelf right there. Uh, eight rows. It holds each one of these ones holds about uh, 500 Blu-rays. Uh, there's that one right there. Uh, there's DVDs over here. I got to get a replacement one for that one. I still plan to get one more bookcase as well besides the replacement one and that's all horror DVDs. I have another box of like horror DVDs. I didn't realize how many horror DVDs I still have. A lot of them still haven't been updated uh, to Blu-ray so that's part of it. And there's Wrigley right there chilling. You say hi buddy? He's like no leave me alone. It's nap time. And uh, let's go into the office area and you can see uh, there's all the bust sets right there. I have a couple more actually that I needed to display and get out of the boxes. But uh, there's the Criterions, some Criterions down there as well. Uh, just stacks of stuff down here. Oh, I wanted to show this. Um, I've had this for a while and uh, I've been doing, meaning to do an unboxing for it. I'm planning to do so pretty soon. This is a Best Buy exclusive uh, Talladega Nights Talking Ricky Bobby Bobblehead. So this was pretty fun. This is one of the few Will Ferrell slapstick comedy movies that I really enjoyed. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of his. I really liked uh, Stranger Than Fiction, which is more of a dark comedy from him. Uh, but yeah, a lot of his movies are just, it's just too much, too over the top for me. That one was, but it was just, for me, I enjoyed that one. So that was one of the few that I enjoyed. So I had to get that set. I've had it for a while, but it's been in box. So I haven't done an unboxing for it. And plus I do have it on Blu-ray. Uh, there's a bunch of Arrow videos, Twilight Time, Eureka, Arrow Video, Digibooks. I need to re-go through all the different collections. Disney, Steelbooks, Steelbooks, all that kind of stuff. And there's random piles, a little bit of everywhere. So a little bit of everything going on. And then there's all the horror Blu-rays as well. So yeah, there's all the kind of goodies going on. But now let's get into the movies that I want you to choose from for me to watch tonight. Uh, I've got eight to choose from and I want you to pick two. And let me know what you're watching tonight as well. So here we go. Here is Nightmares. This was a horror anthology from the 80s. I remember watching this so much as a kid. I had a bootleg and I'm so happy I can get rid of that bootleg. Thank you so much to uh, Scream Factory for releasing this. There's so many horror movies that have been released to Blu-ray that I never would have thought got a release. Um, this was long out of print on DVD. It's going for ridiculous money. So got the bootleg for it. Now I can throw that in the garbage or give it away to somebody who wants to check it out. Uh, but can't wait to revisit that one. Good night, mommy. Um, it looks creepy. Uh, haven't, I've heard like mixed reviews for a lot of people, uh, said some negative stuff about it, but, um, I'm hoping I'll enjoy it. We are still here. I've heard great things about this one. A couple negative, but mostly great. Ooh, I like the back. Is it a snowy setting? I'm a sucker for that. I love it. That looks creepy. So looking forward to checking that out. Aloha, which I've never seen, but, uh, uh, the cast is awesome. Uh, big John Krasinski fan. And I never... Who knew Bradley Cooper was going to be in just like everything? I remember him being back in the day in like Midnight Meat Train and a bunch of different movies. And I just never thought he'd be everywhere. I do enjoy him. But uh, this is for me. This is all about Emma Stone. Oh my gosh. So stunning. Oh yes. Yes. I would have a million of your babies. <laughs> uh, Bill Murray's in here. Uh, Rachel McAdams. Danny McBride. Alec Baldwin. So uh, this looks like a, it's like, I guess, a military romance kind of movie that's set in Hawaii. Uh, and I like Cameron Crowe. He's the director here. So looking forward to that. I, I haven't heard many good things about it. But uh, again, I feel like a lot of people don't like Cameron Crowe, and I do. So maybe that'll be beneficial. And from the trailer, I mean, I was loving the trailer. So next up is Pay the Ghost, Nicolas Cage. I haven't heard too many people talk about this one. In fact, I haven't heard really anybody talk about it. But I think the fact that it's a you know a major star kind of being in a horror movie, 
I guess his kid disappears on Halloween and he finds out there's something supernatural going on. Uh, I'm not a huge Nicolas Cage fan, at least not recently. I liked him a lot better back in the day. Uh, Raising Arizona is probably one of my favorites from him. Uh, but he was, I really liked him in uh, Drive Angry. I thought that was a lot of fun, kind of exploitation esque. And Amber Heard, oh, stunning too. And this is a Vendetta with Dean Cain in the big show. Looks like an all out action, crazy, bloody, violent prison movie directed by the Saska sisters. I hope it'll be better than uh, Seen Evil 2. I was very disappointed in that one. Uh, but I do like the Saska sisters still. And next up from a uh, film detective, really cool releases that they're putting out The Bat with Vincent Price, old school right there. And then the one DVD, Playing for Love with Robert Townsend. A few other recognizable people in here as well. But this is a basketball romance movie uh, with the, the coach right there and then one of the star players' mother. Uh, I really like Robert Townsend growing up. He was in a lot of great movies, uh, Meteor Man, a bunch of other different ones. So excited for to see him in more movies. But there you go. Those are the eight movies to choose from. So if you could pick two from those eight I would appreciate it for, uh, for what, what movies I should watch tonight. And let me know what you're watching tonight as well. And yes, check out The Walking Dead Blood Orange IPA too from Terrapin if you get a chance. It's definitely yumtastic. And there's some more stuff everywhere. I got to organize still. But thank you again for all your support. I hope you guys are doing well. Take care.